Hey guys, happy Star Wars Day. Welcome back to part two of the Let's Build a Lightsaber in Unreal Engine 5 series. Now, if you're just here to learn how to use an enum, then there's a nifty little bookmark link in the description that'll take you right to it. For everyone else, if you haven't watched part one, where we set up the initial blueprint and materials, then I highly encourage you to go check that out, as well as download the free 3D lightsaber assets to follow along. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use an enum to change the type and color of your lightsaber. So whether you identify as a Jedi or a Sith, or you happen to be Samuel L. Jackson watching my YouTube channel, you'll be able to choose the lightsaber that you want to use. All right, let's jump in and may the fourth be with you. All right, let's add the ability to change the color of our lightsaber here. So what we're going to do is we open up our blueprint and we remember that on our lightsaber, we have two materials. We have the one for the hilt and the one for the blade. Now, both of these have an emissive on them. So what we're going to do is we're going to come into the blade version of this. We're going to find our color here. And I'm going to right click, convert to parameter, and I am just going to call this color. And we'll apply. And we want to come to the hilt, which also has an emissive. And we want to do the same exact thing. We're going to find the emissive color here. We're going to right click. We're going to convert to parameter. And we're going to name this one color as well. Now, it's really, really important that both of these nodes and both materials are the same exact name the same exact capitalization and no space at the end of them. So now we can come over here to our BP lightsaber. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come into our construction script. Now our construction script right here, we have where we're setting our lightsaber to be on or off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a sequence here. So I'm going to drag off of this and type in SEQ to get myself a sequence node. So that way I can have different operations happening. So my on off logic, I'll just have up here. Then next, what we'll do is we'll set a color and then I'll click this add pin because after that we're going to assign the color to the materials. So let's start with the assigning of the color first. What we'll do is we will drag our lightsaber mesh out here into our graph. We're gonna drag off of this and I'm going to type in set vector parameter values on materials. Now, the reason for this is because if we look at our color here, this is a vector value. Now it's a vector four, and we see that this over here is a vector three, but it doesn't actually make use of the alpha value. So all we need is the first three. So we'll go ahead and plug this in right here. But working on this, it's not user intuitive to go in here and set the red, green, and blue values by numbers. It's much better to have a color wheel such as this right here. So we do that by creating a variable over here by clicking the plus, and I'm going to name it lightsaber color. And we're going to change the variable type to a linear color. So we'll type in color and we'll see a bunch of stuff over here. Now, we don't want color because color is going to be the blue, green, red alpha. And we actually want the red, green, blue alpha, which is this linear color right here. So we'll click on that. And if I compile, I can see in the default value when I click on it, it's going to give me a nice little color wheel over here. But also if I drop down the arrow, if you do want to set things explicitly with RGB values, you can still do that in here. Just know that this is using zero to one and not zero to 255. All right, so I can then take my lightsaber color out here. I'm going to get it and I am going to drag and drop it onto the parameter value, which Unreal is very kind to us and is going to automatically convert this color to a vector. But now we wanna make sure that the parameter name is set to color, which is the exact same name we have in both the saber blade and the hilt here. So now for this, let's go ahead and make this linear 
color lightsaber color public by clicking on that eye i will compile i'll save i'll come out here i will click on my blueprint and we can see that i have this lightsaber color here that i can now change it to whatever i want it to be so for example we have green jedi we have blue jedi we have sith and we have, if Samuel L. Jackson says he wants purple, Samuel L. Jackson gets purple. All right, so now we want to be able to easily set this. And that's where this bridge right here with this then one is going to come in. We want to set this color based on a list of possible colors that we can use. So for that, we're going to create a new asset here that's going to be a helper. So I'm going to right click, go to new folder, and I'm going to type in helpers. We'll come in here and I'm going to create an enumerator. So I'll right click. I'm going to come up here to blueprint and then we're going to come down to enumeration. I click on this. It'll give me a new enumeration blueprint. I'm going to name it E for enumeration underscore lightsaber colors like that. Now, if I double click to open this, this is enumerator is a really simple concept of it is just a display name or rather a collection of display names that is going to render on our UI as a drop down. So if I click on this add enumerator button, you'll see that we get display name and we get description. Description is basically going to be a tooltip if you want to do it. But for the most part, we just want the display name here. So I'll go into this and I'm going to call this Jedi green like that and then i'm going to add a couple more so one more for jedi a sith and then mace windu so we'll do the second one jedi blue we'll do the third one sith red and then the fourth one here is going to be windu purple so now this if i come back over into my lightsaber here my blueprint i come down to my variables and we'll make lightsaber color private again because we're not going to edit this ourselves explicitly now we will add a new variable that we'll call saber type now saber type what we'll do is we will change the variable type here to our enumerator that we just created so i can do i can search for it by hitting e and then lightsaber and we can see we have our E lightsaber colors right here. I click on that and it's going to create a variable over here. And if I compile, now we'll see that our default value is a drop down. That's really easy to be able to change between these. So now that we know how to do that, the question is, how do we make use of this? And we're going to do that by using something called a switch on enum. So right off the bat, I'm going to go ahead and encapsulate this in a function. So I'll come over here to my functions on the left. I'll click the plus to create a new function that I will call select lightsaber type. Now in here, we are going to drag our saber type enumeration out here. We're going to get it. And then what we'll do is we'll drag off of it and we're going to type in switch. When we do that, it's automatically going to give us this node that does a switch on this particular enumerator. Now, what's really cool with this is that you can see over here on the right, we have each one of these options in here as an output. So each output here is an option inside of this. So now, depending upon what option we select in this dropdown, we can do a different thing for this. So we know what we want to do here is we want to actually change the color of our lightsaber. Now, if I go back to my construction script and I look over here, what we're going to do is we are going to set the vector parameter value on materials of color to this lightsaber color variable. But before we do that, we're going to change it inside of this select lightsaber type. So go ahead and go to our construction script and we're just gonna drag this new function out because we know we're gonna use it and we're just gonna plug the then one in here. So on construction, we're gonna set if the lightsaber's on or off, but then we're going to select our lightsaber type before we actually set the color here. So now let's make that functionality work. So we'll go back into our function and we're going to switch on these values here. And what we're going to do is we are going to bring our lightsaber color out here. And this time we're going to set it. And for this, 
we want to duplicate this with control D three more times because we're gonna plug Jedi green here, Jedi blue here, Sith red here, and Samuel L. Jackson in here. So this first one, Jedi green, we can click on the little swatch here and we're gonna get our perfect green color that we like. So I'll hit okay. I'll come down here to blue. Going to do a blue color that I like right there. We'll come down here to the Sith red, click on the swatch. I'm gonna make this a red value. I wanna make sure I get a really deep red in there. Okay, and then down here for Mace Windu, we're gonna click on this and I am going to get a really nice purple going on in here. So now what's going to happen is when we call this function, it's going to check what this is set to. And depending upon what it's set to, it's going to change this lightsaber color variable to one of these colors. And then after it does that, it's going to set the lightsaber's color parameter in the materials to whatever that color happens to be. So go ahead and compile. Let's actually make our saber type public by clicking the little eye down here, compile again. I'm gonna save. I'll pop over here and we can see that it's green right now, but if I come over and let's close this so we can get a better view here. If I come over here and I change this to Jedi blue, now we get a blue lightsaber. Now we get a red one and now we get a purple one. But we do have a little bit of a problem here and I can see that it's changing it on the blade, but it's not actually changing it on the hilt. So let's go ahead and debug that. So we'll bring this over here. We'll look at our M hilt and we'll see that we do have this color parameter here. But if we were to come into our content browser and I'm going to make a material instance of this, and then we open up the material instance, we can see that we don't have that color over here. And simple fix for that is because when we converted this to a parameter, we forgot to come over here and hit apply. Now, when I hit apply, I look over here and I can see I have the color on here now. And I can also see that it changes with my enum selection. So now we have that working. So that's how you can set up having multiple lightsaber types with their appropriate colors using an enumerator. So let's test what that looks like in practice. I will do my simulate here. I will turn it off. I will turn it on, turn it off, turn it on, turn it off, and then I'll turn it on again. And we can see that it works just fine. Change it to blue, change it to red. We're gonna go Sith, turn it off, turn it on, and there we go.